Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're bringing you step-by-step -step brewing instructions for black tea, featuring my voice and Jen's hands. I know, I know, this freaks a lot of you out, but hopefully you'll bear with us as her hands and my voice walk you through this delightful pathway to delicious tea. Traditional Western teapot style is always a great way to brew black tea. We're using our trusty old cold brew bottle for brewing today because not only is it cute and displays the brewed leaf beautifully, but it's also what we use every morning. That's right, we're not gung fu tea snobs here, especially at 6 a.m. This is an easy and quick brewing vessel. Any teapot, mug, travel mug, or similar sized vessel will do for this method. So here's the old trick you all know. Pour in the dry leaf to lightly cover the bottom of the vessel and add hot water. And wait, that wasn't so hard, was it? This black tea takes about two minutes to steep until it's ready to drink. To brew a black tea in a gaiwan, all you need is a gaiwan, of course, a sharing pot, and a teacup. A filter would be helpful if the tea you're brewing has smaller leaves, but I won't be needing one today since the tea I'm brewing has nice, big, tasty leaves, making it less likely for them to escape from the gaiwan when I pour it out. Don't miss the chance to smell the wonderful aroma of the leaves here. Mmm, dry berries, fruity sweetness and caramel. I can't wait to take a sip. I don't rinse black tea, so we'll be diving right into the first infusion. If the age-old question to rinse or not to rinse perplexes you, Check out the video we made that explains the whens, whys, and hows of rinsing tea. I'm not 100% sure that we covered the hows, but go check it out and leave me a comment if we missed that, and we'll do another video on that just for you. Black tea is the most familiar tea for many tea lovers, and if you're anything like me, it was probably your introduction into the vast, deep, weird, and usually wonderful world of tea. This black tea is called Guanyin Hong. It's a black tea made from Te Guanyin cultivar. You heard that right, Te Guanyin. Though this is a popular oolong tea cultivar that many of you already love, it can also be processed into black tea. Black tea has a pretty wide variety of liquor colors. Differences in the cultivar, which part of the plant was used, and the processing details can give us anything from a light gold color all the way to a reddish brown. Guanyin Hom has a golden amber liquor color, and this will be the parameter that we use to decide each infusion timing. We're shooting for this color consistently. I got five, count them, five infusions from this tea, and I could totally get a couple more with longer steepings. But since I'm going to brew the same tea in a yeasting teapot again, I didn't feel the need to show off. Believe it or not, black tea is a great tea for yeasting clay teapots. The aroma of black tea is usually robust enough to brew in a vessel this porous, and black tea is considered by many experts to give the fastest results when it comes to seasoning a teapot. I wonder if those experts have a contest for this. Anyway, 
If you're just getting into clay teapots, we have a great video providing some useful guidelines when choosing your first purple clay teapot. This one here is my dedicated black tea teapot. This cute little spout gives it a gentle, slow flow, which I'll be taking into consideration for my infusion times. You'll need to be a little clever here as well if your teapot has a different shape or a spout size. Feel free to add or reduce the steep time, and as always, let the liquor color be your guide. Guanyin Home is a rich black tea with delicious sweetness and no bitterness or astringency when brewed in a large teapot. But it's also wonderful when brewed Gong Fu style. I love to see how the flavor profile develops and transforms with each infusion. I really hope this video gave you some helpful tips on brewing black tea and encourages you to try Gong Fu black tea. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about tea and Chinese tea culture. I really do love hearing from all of you too, so please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or want to tell us what you'd like to see in future videos. In the end, I brewed the leaves six times. Until next time, keep steeping.